Howdy folks, Tech Texan here, bringing you The Forest, Part 11. Yes, it's been a few weeks, so I've decided to go ahead and create a video to kind of give you uh, an update on the updates. So, yes, a lot's been going on, and as you can see, I finally have some friends. Yes, you can put rabbits in a cage. In fact, I'm going to go find one. Oh, look, they're scurrying about. i got to be careful not to run into my own trap in the process. I came pretty close a few times. Where did the rabbit go? Ah, he's run off. However, I did find... Oh, there they are. I did find a little exploit, a slight glitch, when it comes to the rabbits and the rabbit cage. When you put a rabbit in the rabbit cage, it actually spawns a rabbit immediately. I'll get you... Ah, got him. There you go. And he just grabs him by the neck. As soon as you decide to put him in the cage, it's going to spawn one right at my feet. Maybe he already scurried off. Ah, yeah, there he goes. So yes, there you have it. You can finally uh, trap your own rabbits and uh, you can save them for later so that way you're not chasing them down. Uh, I'm doing pretty darn good on food right now. Uh, actually, let me throw some armor on. And hey, look at that. You actually get the graphics showing the armor on your skin. So that's kind of a cool look. Uh, I can't remember if I mentioned last time, but you can make a bow. And that was actually several updates ago in which you were able to create a bow. I think I did show you on the last video. Uh, and of course, the arrows along with it. So the birds, killing the birds, now have purpose. I also found that you... It's a lot more easy, and you get a lot more feathers uh, going after seagulls as opposed to uh, the regular forest birds there. So that is also a lot better. Okay, and as you can see, there's tons of junk in the inventory now, so it's actually getting kind of full. Uh, you do have to get rope uh, for the uh, bow, as a matter of fact. Uh, you get batteries for your flashlight, and I believe you can now rechar or charge your flashlight with it, so... That is an advantage. Now, what I have going on right here, yes, you've seen it. The tree house. Yes, you could build a tree house. And this is the first one I have not yet finished. So I have no idea what to expect once it is built. But it is almost finished. I only need three more logs. And I saved the last three logs because I wanted to show you another little feature. You know that when you chop down a tree in this game, you can only carry two logs at the same time. Well, they added another little cool feature in this game, and it's called the sleigh. And with the sleigh, you can add logs to it and drag it along the ground. So that way you can carry uh, up to like, oh, somewhere around five or six logs. I think it, or six or seven or something like that. It was quite a few logs that you can hold. And another exploit that I learned through one of my buddies, Murph, he posted a video, or was it Murph or Monty? I can't remember. One of the two. They posted a video of another person that gave an exploit when it comes to cutting down trees. It's very slow to cut down the tree. Swing after swing. It is very slow, very unproductive, it seems. So in order to fix that, by the way, this is placing it in the sleigh here. We just... Come on. Work. Work. Oh. There we go. I guess that guy was in the way. Um. There we go. So, if you swing with the tree off-center, at the peripheral... At, in your peripheral vision, you generally... Uh, apparently, I, I tend to glitch... Okay, it's not working on that tree, but on other trees it'll work. Here, this would be a good example. No, it's not. There we go. So as you can see, you could swipe a lot faster, and you still end up cutting down the tree. Now, I'm not, I'm not going to cut down that tree. I'm going to save it for later. I want to finish the tree house first. Now, I'm not saying the sleigh is a perfect solution, but 
It definitely is kind of worth having when you have to travel a good distance. Now, are there any more logs? I don't think there are. I think I got them all. I only need three logs, and there's four in here. Now, really, you're just pushing it around. I really wish I could use the rope and pull it, but... Uh, beggars can't be choosers. I've had this thing get caught a few times, so it's not perfect. Uh, in fact, I've hit my... <laughs> my hunting shelter and flip the thing over but you could still push it even if you do and you can flip it over again so that's not a problem there we go all right let's take a look oh good he just walks directly up i guess i have to jump these last few ones ah here we go yes and you get a nice view of a tree okay i'm gonna cut that sucker down Bushes are in the way. Move, tree. You're in the way of my view of the ocean. So, yes, they've added quite a bit. Oh, looks like I need a snack. From capturing your own rabbits to showing some actual armor on the skin. That's kind of nice. It's not much, but it's a start. And in a moment, I'm going to show you the bad guys, the cannibals, because there have been updates on them. I believe last video, uh, I showed you how there are now more than one tribe. There's actually uh, multiple tribes out there. Uh, one which is a little more organized, stronger, uh, and not quite as aggressive in their attacks. And um, the, yeah, so they're more intelligent, but... Uh, the other tribe is just disorganized, they look like they're starving, and they're about to just really die, so uh, they charge right at you, but they're a lot weaker, a lot dumber, so they're easy to kill uh, compared to the others. Here I am not using the uh, exploit, but I, I've been having a lot of trouble with it. It does work when you do it right, but... I haven't quite got it down yet. Okay, really. This thing looks like it's... Come on. Thank you. Get off my treehouse. Really? Come on. <laughs> there we go. That's better. Now we got a better view. Here we go. Nice. And we can save the game from here. Oh, look at that. That is a wonderful view. All right. Now I'm curious if I could build fire in here. It does not look like I could place it. And uh, he's going to end up putting it on the ground. Okay, so we won't go with that. Uh, but I'll tinker with this a little bit, see what else we can do. Uh, I've been able to play some traps. The garden works a little better. It actually grows what you put in there, but I can't really select what I put in there. It just seems that it just puts in there the last plant that I pick up. And I noticed that there's some future items coming out. This looks like it's going to be a drying rack. So I'm curious about what that's going to be. Uh, let's see. And of course, we still have the boat and the boat, house boat, which I'm probably never going to build. I mean, 125 logs. Forget it. Sound safe and all, but... Ah, where's the fun and no attacks? Oh, by the way, they do have... In addition to the stick holder, and this was actually probably one of the happiest things I was <laughs> among this update, is a rock holder. Yes, you can finally place a bunch of rocks in this guy and then carry some on your own. That has come in more handy than I can count already. I don't know why. Like, the stick one, I didn't worry about much, because you could carry, like, nine or ten sticks. But the rocks, you can't carry that many. You can only carry five. And there's so many items that need rocks, and thankfully they put this in here. I was so happy. Uh, not to mention, during times where I'm not looking for rocks, I see them scattered everywhere, and I'm thinking, gosh, I wish I could just store these, but uh, couldn't do it. But now you can. So, excellent news about that. So, yes, they've improved on storing your items a little bit uh, so you can kind of help organize 
your own little fortress there. Now, of course, I don't have my Fortress of Solitude going like I have before, uh, mainly because I've just been playing with everything else, uh, trying to learn this and that, uh, getting to know the different updates and what you can do. Now, the bow and arrow, I gotta admit, I haven't been too thrilled with because, my goodness, it is hard to aim. Well, okay, that was easy, but if you're shooting from a distance, it, it's difficult to work with. In fact, let's see if I can hit me a bird. Oh gosh, there's no way I'm going to hit a bird. If I could just pick one close enough. There you go. And... Total miss. Oh my gosh, did I hit him? Oh wow, I did. Okay. So, yeah, the bow and arrow is going to take a little practice. However, I have a feeling that the reason why they chose to use the bow and arrow like this is because, keep in mind, this game is still going to be for the Oculus Rift. Uh, now, not primarily for it, but it will be compatible with it. So, I'm assuming you're going to be able to aim with the bow and arrow using the Oculus Rift. Again, those are just assumptions. Uh, no uh, certainty there, but I am definitely going to give it a try. Uh, and if I can, I'm going to see if I can't get my Oculus working uh, with it as is. I highly doubt I can, but hey, it wouldn't hurt to give it a try. But uh, as far as everything else, the updates are moving along nicely, and I am looking forward to seeing what else I could do with the treehouse. I am very curious because, keep in mind, we can also build uh, stairs as far as uh, part of structure. Um, uh, maybe some walls. I don't know. Uh, we'll see what I could do. I might build some stairs. Uh, to the other side of the window. I don't know if I could do that. Probably not. Uh, because it seems to be... Uh-oh. We have company. And that is the intelligent tough group. No, 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 no. I need to eat. Hey. No, guys. Come on. I, I want to eat. No. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, guys. Come on. Oh, goodness. Well. This would be a good time to... Uh... Come on. Eat the... Food, thank you. Okay, now I have the energy to fight him. You know what? Forget y'all. I'm going to my treehouse. <laughs> I'm going to my treehouse. <laughs> They're running circles. <laughs> They're just going to run circles around the tree. Okay. Oh. Oh, so, oh, here we go. All right. Okay, it's kind of hard to aim like that. Oh, come on. Man, they are running fast. Gee whiz. Man, there's just no way. Come on, run outward a little bit, would you? There you go. Okay. Uh, this could take a while, folks. So, I think I'm just going to end the video here. Yes, I'm going to keep it a nice little short, sweet video showing the updates. Uh... So far, again, graphics constantly improving. Uh, I would say the AI is improving, but this is really not a good way to demonstrate it. But uh, they have. They, they actually have improved some of the AI. But, uh, yeah, they, they do have more to go. <laughs> but, hey, if they're going to send updates out every two weeks, at least they are, in fact, making progress. Oh, hey, someone made up the stairs, and they ran off. So, with that said, y'all come back now, you hear? Bye!